My style can't be duplicated or recycled. This chick is a sick individual. Okay, today is January 20th and I'm leaving Banana Garden. Goodbye room. This was my little room for two weeks, almost two weeks. But you guys saw it. Little veranda. Alright, so I loaded up the car already and now I'm heading to the next place. Judy House. Tired. This is the little puppy. Josh. He only follows us around because we've been feeding him. This is the main house, Opal's house. my key she was feeling a little under the weather so I couldn't get a hug but I'm still gonna be in Jamaica so um, I can always come back so tired but I know you guys saw everything before but I don't know if I really gave a review but it's nice besides the roosters and the mosquitoes it was good There's the little, that's not a bar, it's just like a place to hang out. So, we're going to go to the next place. What did you say? Come in. 
Oh, I thought, she, I thought she said come in. All right. Oh my God. Okay, for you. I'm gonna see what's yeah, up here. A little kitchen or something. Okay, so in the previous Judy House review, I showed you guys that I stopped there the day before. Or not the day before, sorry. Like, not quite a week before, but I wanted to see the place. She wouldn't let me see it. So what I'm doing now is I have my GoPro on, but I don't want to let um, Sue see that I'm recording just to hear what she's going to say because I'm about to ask her for my money back. <clears throat> and I know her policy is absolutely no refund. So if you don't cancel within a week before, you're not getting any money back whatsoever. And because I was staying two weeks, I was going to ask her, if I give her a seven-day notice now, can I cancel my last week that I'm there? So, um, I had my friend on the phone, and he wanted to hear it too. So I told him, once she gets there, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to get off the phone, but I wanted him to stay on the phone so he could hear the conversation too. And um, I think it's going to happen. All right. Yeah. Oh, she's going to the car or something. Yeah, but I have to do the green first, but okay. I, I have to wash the wood thing to get it. Oh, okay, yeah, because I don't think you've got to do it. Yeah, I have to wash it. You could do the power wash. Um, I, I, I think we had it better. Well, I know you'll do it better. Remember, still. All right, I'll call you back. Reggie. That's what I'm saying. What? Mm-hmm. So I know you have a strict power cancellation policy, mm -hmm. but this room is super tiny. They're all tiny. They're all backpacker, single yeah. backpacker room. Yeah. That's kind of why I wanted to see it the other day to see, because I got a lot of stuff. Because I'm here for a month. Oh, okay. Um, but so if I give you like a week notice now and check out next. You're not here for a month, are you? Not here. At the, no. I'm here for two weeks at right. your place. Okay. But I'm here in Jamaica for a month. Okay. Um, but could I get a refund for the last week? Mm. I'll have a look. See what's going on. Okay. Yeah, and I told you too that um, the card that I reserved it on expired this month, so that card's canceled, so you can't return it on the card. I don't return it anyway. It's not up to me to return it. Oh. Uh, we, you have to talk to Airbnb and you have to uh, make a Oh, 
oh. tablets for them then they discuss it with me and then they work out what to do and then oh okay whatever so send them a message you have to talk to them you have to talk that you, you booked with them not me oh okay right okay you know they're the agency they take the commission they're the ones that bring in the bookings so that you really you're an airbnb what we would call you an airbnb guest Okay. Same as we'd call you a booking right. or Carmel Hostel or whatever. Okay. So your reservation is with the company, not with me. Oh, okay. Because the cancellation policy is that. That's my cancellation policy. Okay. Because that's but what that's what I'm wondering. Which we have a choice of with Airbnb. Okay. Uh, so I'll message. I'll message them and. We'll take it from there. I'm not making any promises, Dave, because um, at the end of the day, it's a backpacker room. The first is run the thing. Mm -hmm. We have people bigger than you here too. And you're not that big either. So anyway, well, talk to them and then we'll just. But my birthday's there. coming up, and you know I want to get dressed up, and it's like I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know. Girls do the the, the, the girls come out of those hammocks like the movie stars sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I would put some of your stuff somewhere if you don't know. You might be messing with mango. Where are you now? You're in. I'm you're in papaya. I wonder who she's got in mango, because that one's a bit bigger. Where you can put people in here longer. So I'm back at home now, and I just figure I need to kind of explain what's going on in this video. So she didn't promise me a refund but she said that I'm an Airbnb customer and Airbnb has to do the return and you know her cancellation policy is her policy whatever and Airbnb has a separate one right so I go on Airbnb and the whole cancellation policy is up to the host it has nothing to do with Airbnb so and she also said oh I'm not promising anything so Sue has been doing this for years and for her to not know that the cancellation policy is totally up to her, it's kind of fishy. I think she knew what she was talking about. Um, I don't think she's ever given anybody any returns. But anyway, so that's that part. There's no way I was going to get a refund. I was stuck. But the next part of the video, um, a couple had came in while I was sitting there and they had rented um, two hammocks. The, they saw the hammocks and the girl freaked out because she's scared of spiders and bugs and stuff. And she wanted, you know, they wanted a different room. And like the room that I have is not for two people. It's just for one. So the girl was like... She says in there, well, I'll just take it for me and he can sleep in the hammock. And that's when I said something about, you know, she can rent my room. Because that would have taken care of, it, it might not have taken care of it, but then she would have had somebody to rent the room. I don't know how long, whatever. But Sue turns to me and she's like, can you just stay out of it for a minute? So you'll hear it. If you, I turned up the volume so you guys can hear it, and I played it twice. But she was just very rude to me, very rude to these people who had just came in. Um, not accommodating whatsoever, but that is my experience with Judy House. Like, you might have a different experience. You might love it. You might love it, staying with all them roosters and shit. It's very simple, very simple place. And there's people that have been staying there for a while. So it's not for everybody. And I knew it wasn't for me as soon as I saw it, but she wouldn't let me in the gate when I came previously to look at it. Like in the other video for the review, I said I was showing, um, you know, the drive coming down. This video I showed the drive going up. But I had went to the Judy house to see if I'd like it to see if I could get my you know if I didn't like it then I could get my refund and she wouldn't let me in to look at it and there's so much so many trees and stuff around you can't see what it looks like you can't you have no idea what it looks like until you're in and you walk all the way back 
all right, this is like a month later and I'm still pissed off at this shit. But keep watching. Make your own judgments. If you have any questions, if you think, if you want to know if I would recommend that you stay there, no. If you're stuck in Jamaica and there's nowhere and you have like, $50 left to your name and you need to stay for two days, find somewhere else. Go to t um, TNT, Tatiana and Tony's right up the hill on West End. You can stay there for 20 bucks a night. There were so many people that came. <laughs> There's people that came through and they're wondering like where else could they stay or the Judy house was full. So I told everybody where else they could go um, for about the same price, and it's better. <sighs> Don't even get me started on this. I, I, I could just go on and on, but I'm just going to let you watch the video and see for yourself. Well, you booked a dorm in yeah. five bed, shared tent. Uh, two bedrooms in one dorm or five bedrooms? No. We have five hammocks in what it's it's five hammocks in two dorms. That bed. doesn't say. Hostel worlds will say bed, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what. But what did you pay? We paid seventeen dollars. You paid eight fifty a bed. Forty dollars. It's 850 each plus tax. We pay $40. You pay 850 plus tax. Right, plus tax, which makes 40 is a difference. Okay, oh, okay. 10, 20, 20, 20, 20. So 850. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? You think you would get rooms for 850? Yeah. If you'd read the rest of the stuff. I'll show you exactly what it said on the This is all the information of Hustle Wells about the rules, right? This is this is what it says. Right? This is the information. Mm -hmm. if you, it's the place where you book, and then that's what it says. Five hammocks, five persons available in high dry season. Two tented cabanas, fashion fruiters, three single hammocks, not dark two single hammocks. Cabinets come with small mattress, pillow, and mosquito net with secure hand luggage, lock-up, bench and shower. Sleeping bag, liner and blanket can be rented for a small retainer or deposit. We advise the main flashlight as the cabana garden is lit community, but the cabanas are not. Mm -hmm. That's what it says about there. Mm -hmm. Hustle World, on my booking, says hammocks, but unfortunately when that, they say yours, because they it's just call really them thing. beds, whether they're hammocks or beds. Okay. So it's, it's a bit of a misunderstanding, but I'm sorry, I'm translating. Yeah, that's you, you, know, you, do, you do that. Coffee warm, one is cama. But in reality, the insulation is a mat. It's on cinco matas, or dos matas, toque, or con un cine con un cortecito, con un rey, con un chico. Yo puedo rentar. Fantastic, ¿eh? So there's no bed in here. There's only a mat. No, we have beds and we have hammocks. Oh. We have cottages, private cottages, and then we have the backpacker hostel. The backpacker hostel has beds and hammocks. And um, if we want to get one bed, for example, there's we don't do one bed. No, no, just for me. Okay. Because the thing is, I'm afraid of buying everything and stuff, and I didn't. I, I. This is Jamaica. There will be spiders and lizards everywhere you go. She could yeah. pay for my room. Could you just stay out of it for a moment? I know there is, but. It's could you just stay out of it for a moment? guys so I am all settled in and I'm making it the best that I can 
but this is my room. I'm gonna put this all the way in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So I put all my stuff up on the shelf. Um, it'll work. I can make it work. I'm an octopus. I adapt to everything, right? So I'm going to go. I'm gonna put this sweet stuff in the refrigerator so the ants don't get it. And then head down to the beach. Up close and personal. Ugh. a little bit here and there but mostly downtown so there's a couple it seems like there's a lot of people that are staying here today but it is the weekend so a lot of people are probably just getting here but I'm gonna try to get a bike taxi downtown down the hill. There's a rooster on the roof, and if this motherfucker jumps down here, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. It's acting like it wants to jump down. <sighs> okay, so I wanted to get a workout, and I guess this. in here up and down up and down look and it's fucking hot it's like I think it's two o'clock in the afternoon oh there's some goats I'm going to try to get a taxi. So I guess I'm going to need earplugs in the morning. back. I'm going to get ready to go out and party party. Okay, so I had to get ready outside out the door, outdoor, like they say, um, because it's way too hot in that room, but we're going to go to Fun Holiday for some karaoke and some fun holiday, <laughs> so he should be here in a minute, that might be him coming up. Well, maybe I should walk down. Oh, that's him. Gotta go. Bye. So, like I said earlier, there's... Sue has a very strict cancellation policy. And unless you cancel seven days ahead, you don't get anything. 
but she also won't let you look at it before you go in. Um, so nowhere in her description or rules does it say that you can't have visitors. And that here it says that she is very accommodate or tries to accommodate to the best that they can. And the security is a joke. Here's a picture of Martel on duty. And then I just posted this next one because it says something about the outdoor bath, which I was not allowed to use. But that was one of the main reasons that I went there. And also that they are striving for 100% customer service. So now you can pause this video and read my review that I put on Airbnb. Thanks for watching.